Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be evaluating a radical expression. We're given that x plus 2 root x equals 2, and we're supposed to evaluate x plus 4 over square root of x. Now, I'm going to be presenting two methods. Here's the first method. For the first method, we're going to be solving for x. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll use substitution, so we have x plus 2 root x equals 2. This is a radical equation. I could isolate the radical, square both sides, so on and so forth, but I'm going to be using a different approach. Let's use substitution. You know that's one of my favorite methods. Square root of x equals u. This means that since x uh, does not equal 0, because if x is equal to 0, the equation is not satisfied. So we know that x does not equal 0. Having said that, we can safely say that x is positive and u is positive. Great. So let's go ahead and uh, make the substitution, replace x with, what do we replace x with? Okay, since square root of x is equal to u, this means x is equal to u squared. So that's what we're going to use for x. Let's go ahead and plug it in. We get u squared plus 2u equals 2. All right. So we have u squared plus 2u equals 2. We can add 1 to both sides to complete the square. You could also use the quadratic formula. You know, there's more than one way to do it. The left-hand side becomes u plus 1 quantity squared equals 3. We can take the square root and we get two solutions from here. u plus 1 equals root 3 or u plus 1 equals negative root 3. From here, we can isolate u u becomes root 3 minus 1, or u becomes negative root 3 minus 1. Negative root 3 minus 1 is less than 0, so that is not allowed, because we know that x and u both have to be positive. So this is not acceptable. We have to use the other solution, and root 3 minus 1 is positive. Great. So now u equals root 3 minus 1, and what is u? u is square root of x, so this means that the square root of x is equal to square root of 3 minus 1. If you're trying to find x, you have to square both sides. And that is going to give you 3 plus 1, which is 4, minus 2 root 3. And that is going to become 4 minus 2 root 3. So this is our x value and the only x value that works here for this equation. So let's go ahead and plug that in. Since we're trying to evaluate another expression, which is x plus 4 over square root of x. Now we got the x value, so we can easily substitute that into our equation. And that gives us 4 minus 2 root 3 for x plus 4 divided by square root of x. Remember, u is equal to square root of x and square root of x is equal to root 3 minus 1. Great. So we got a radical expression and uh, we want to simplify this because, you, you know, we want to write it in the simplest form. So let's go ahead and multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate, which is root 3 plus 1. So we're going to do that to get rid of the radical. From here, we get 4 minus 2 root 3. And when you multiply these, you don't have to distribute because it's going to simplify. So let's go ahead and leave it like that in the factored form. The bottom is going to be from difference of two squares, 3 minus 1, which is equal to 2. Great. So now 2 goes into 4. 2 times, so we can simplify, and now this becomes 4 minus 2 root 3, plus, now if you go ahead and distribute the 2 over here, you get 2 root 3 plus 2. And obviously the negative 2 root 3 and the positive 2 root 3 are going to cancel out, giving us 6 as the final answer. So our expression is equal to 6, given the equation. So we're given that x plus 2 root x is equal to 2, and this becomes 6. Great. So that gave us a really nice answer as an integer. So that brings us to the second method. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method. And the second method is actually uh, a little nicer. So obviously the first method is going to be a little more painful, as is all the time. Now we have this expression. So I'm trying to evaluate, now notice that my goal is to find what x plus 4 over root x is equal to, right? So square root of x plays an important role here. So sometimes it's possible to find the value without finding the actual x. So let's go ahead and do it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and factor the square root of x out. Inside the parentheses, we get square root of x plus 2. 
And then from here, since I have 4 over root x here, I would like to divide both sides by square root of x because that's going to give me something that I am going to be using. So let's go ahead and divide by root x. It's also going to simplify the left hand side. And from here, I get square root of x plus 2 is equal to 2 over the square root of x. So if I double both sides, I get 2 root x plus 4 is equal to 4 over root x. And this is exactly what I want to use over there. So my expression is x plus 4 over square root of x. Now, I can replace 4 over square root of x with this because that's what it's equivalent to. And that gives us something nice. You'll see in a little bit. So I'm going to replace 4 over root x with 2 root x plus 4. And now this brings us the original expression. Remember, we were given that x plus 2 root x is equal to 2 from here. Remember that? That was given. So now I got that, which means I can replace x plus 2 root x with 2. And our expression is going to equal 6. And that is going to be the same answer that we got in the first method. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.